everyone, welcome back again to my channel. This is Bianca Isabel and today we're going to do the Never Have I Ever. Okay, I know a lot of you guys I probably following me through my social media account. So, nag ko, I posted a video on my Instagram account and I'm asking if they could send questions for this video, for this Never Have I Ever video. And some of naman na ipapublish or <laughs> sasabihin ko dito na mga questions are from my friends na inas ko din sila kung mayroon mo sila mga Never Have I Ever questions for me. Of course, katulad lang din ng mga mechanics with the Never Have I Ever question, um, kapag I have ibig sabihin, nagawa ko na or na-experience ko na, something like that. Pag never, so opposite naman. So, hindi, it's either hindi ko siya nagawa or hindi ko pa siya na-experience. Okay, so I have this, I have. I think kung baliktad pala yung ginawa ko, no? So, pabaliktad nyo pala siya probably mababasa. But this is I have and this is the never. Alright, without further ado, sobrang daming questions actually ng mga sinend ng friends ko and even sa Instagram. So probably I will go through first uh, doon sa Instagram, never have I ever questions that in. Alright, so let's start! So the first one from the Instagram, so niya, never have I ever been called in the principal's office. Uh, about school na kagad to, no? So, never have I ever been called in the principal's office. I have. <laughs> I think uh, it was elementary na na call ako in the principal's office. So natatandaan ko because uh, ang natatandaan ko pala is meron ata akong binato na chok. Kaya ako na papunta sa principal's office. So that is past is past. Hindi na naman po ako nang babato ng chok ngayon. Pero yeah, that is the reason bakit ako napakol sa principal's office. Very ano pala ako before. Very palaban. Never have I ever told my churchmates that you are done for today's devotion, but di pa talaga. Um, I'm not really sure. <laughs> Pinapanood pala ito ng, ng mga ano ko, no? <laughs> ng mga ka-churchmate ko. I think never. Never kong sinab... Oh no, I think I have. I never have I ever told my churchmate that you're done for today's devotion, but di pa. I think I have. I said na I'm done, but I'm not literally done. Kaya lang, ang ginawa ko, ang shinner ko na devotion is yung mga past devotion ko. Like the past few days devotion. Not my devotion nung araw na yun. So, I'm so sorry to my video. <laughs> Pero, I think I have. Pero hindi naman to palagi, guys. Hindi. I think that's just one time na hindi talaga ako nakapag-devotion. And then, nagkaroon kami ng... Na, basta nagkaroon kami ng groupings, gano'n. Nag-Bible study kami. And then, yeah. Next, never have I ever nagka-crush sa black mate. Nagka-crush sa black mate. Hindi ko naman to ipagkakaila. A lot of my black mate... A lot of my black mates know this. And also, some of my friends. So, I think no further explanation for this. Next, never have I ever nanaloko. No further explanation as well. Never have I ever in one. No further explanation ulit. Never have I ever na pinagpalit. Ano ba tong pinagpalit na to? <laughs> but I think ito din. Uh, di na rin ako mag-explain with that. Never have I ever umawat sa away. Oh, I remember! Um <laughs> Umawat sa away, yes, I have ng mga friends ko. But there is this one recently na nangyari na umawat ako sa away ng dalawang magjowa. <laughs> Hopefully, pinapanood mo to, no? <laughs> Pero sobrang funny. Just a quick story lang, no? Um, so, I went to... I went with my friend. So, pumunta kami doon kung nasaan man yung gusto niyang kausapin. So, I thought all this time, kakausapin niya ng maayos. ba? Diba? Maayos na pakikipag-usap. Pero, ang nangyari, hindi. Okay? So, medyo nagkagulo ng slight. Not to the point na inaaw uh, inaawat ko na sila. Inaawat ko siya. <laughs> Tapos, sumabot sa point na nasugatan siya. Kasi, ang haba ng nails ko, nung time na yon tas nasugatan siya kasi, syempre, di ba, pinipigilan ko kasi siya eh. So, ganun ako mang awat. 
Kaya, ayun. So, very funny. I think, first time ko na parang ganun yung scenario ng inaawat ko yung friend ko sa away or sa discussion man nila nung boyfriend niya. Next, maraming nagtanong nito. As in, I think, tatlo ba or apat. Yung nagtanong nito, never have I ever cut classes. Guys, this is true. Never, never ako nag-cut ng class, elementary, high school, senior high school, college. I never did to cut classes. If if ever lang na parang hindi ako makaka-attend sa class dahil may gagawin akong probably in my organization or may gagawin ako outside, may competitions, usually ganyan yung nangyayari. I always uh, tell my professor na meron akong mga ganong gagawin and then if uh, nag-okay sila na pwede akong umalis, ganun so, I will go or like, aalis ako sa class. But I never ever ever cut classes. I'm very proud of that. Next, never have I ever ghosted someone. <laughs> Okay, para kung ano ngayon na, para kung si Gerald Anderson na tinan... Simple lang ang tanong. Hindi mo ginost si Bea Alonso. Wala pa ako ginost. Natanong ni Tito Boy Abunda. So, ginost mo ba talaga siya? No, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, sige, let me quickly... Ilagay ko siya sa ganitong scenario, okay? If the meaning of ghosting is like you are committed to this person, you have this kind of intimate relationship, and then you have this mutual understanding, you know, as you know, relationship stuff like that, and then nang ghost like iniwan mo sa ere, quote unquote. If that is the meaning of ghosting, to you know, kasi alam ko meram, eh ko, I feel like there's a lot of meaning of ghosting, pero kung ganon. Never. I think never. Never ko namang ginawa yun na bigla ko nalang iniwan sa ere yung isang tao. Especially if I'm committed with that person. So never. I think I never ghosted someone. Okay, so merong isa naman, binaliktad naman niya yung a ghosting thing. So yung isa, kung yung isa is ghosted someone, kung may ginost ako, ito namang isa, I never have I ever ghosted by someone. I have. So, ginost ako. That's it. <laughs> Next is, never have I ever hindi natulog ng isang araw. I think I have. Uh, recently lang din siya when uh, there was a wake dito sa bahay. So, hindi ako nakatulog talaga, I think, for 24 hours. Ay! I think never pala. Kasi naka-idlip naman pala ako nun. Like, pa unting unting idlip, pero mas mahaba yung gising ako. So, kung talagang totally na hindi natulog for one day, I think never pala. Sorry. Never. Never have I ever cried because of academics. I have. Yeah, alam niya ng mga estudyante ngayon na we, should, we usually have this kind of mental breakdown with our academics and with all the stuff that we are experiencing. So, I think I have... I think that parang napaluha lang ako. Oh, this is very funny. Probably this is related din sa academics. So there's this re last year lang siya. So last year kasi um, major subjects na kami ganyan. And then I think hindi ako nagising sa alarm ko. Hindi ako nagising. So no nagising ako, bigla ko naalala na oh my gosh, meron pala akong class. Eh. I think that's 8:45 AM na class. Tapos nagising ako 10 o'clock na, 10 a.m. And, uh, and ang tapos ng class ko is 10.15 a.m. So, 8.45 to 10.15. Oh my gosh! Pag napanood to ng professor ko, alam niya na <laughs> kung ano subject yun. But anyway, so, um, nalate ako sa alarm. Ay, nalate ako sa gising. Hindi ako nagising dun sa alarm ko. Tapos, I think pagkagising ko, nagulat ako na, oh my gosh, may class pala ako. Tapos, naiyak ako ko bigla kasi hindi ako naka-attend sa class. Kasi yung parang ang um, point of error dun sa side ko kasi I really want to of course attend the class. Kanina nga, diba? I never cut classes nga, diba? So, na-frustrate lang ako sa sarili ko na na-late ako ng gising and hindi ako naka-attend dun sa class. And the fact that it is my major subject in school. So, um, ayun, very, ano lang, um, 
na sad lang ako sa part na yun. Like, naiyak ako. I think I called my friend. If you're watching, you know who you are. Sige, sabihin ko na si Oriel. <laughs> Tinawagam ko si Oriel because I'm I'm really sad. Parang naiinis ako sa sarili ko because hindi ako nagising. Tapos, ayun, hindi ako naka-attend ng class. So, probably that's counted yun sa cry because of academics. Never have I ever nag-group message pero sa isang tao lang sinend. I think never. Nung uso pa yung mga group messages ah, sa na, na-experience ko naman yun, no? Nandun naman ako sa era na yun. <laughs> Nung nauso yung mga group message GMGM. GM. But I think I have never did that na group message pero isa lang talaga yung sinesendan ko. Never have I ever nag-cram sa school works. My gosh! I will not lie to this. <laughs> I have. Even right now. <laughs> Never have I ever nag-wish na bumalik kay X. If we're going to talk about the last few years, I have. But now, never. Never have I ever pinunasan yung pinag-inuman ng kaibigan kapag nakikiinom sa baso or bottle mo. Um, I have never. Uh, I never did that. Ang mangyayari na lang yan, usually kapag ganyan yung scenario, ang ginagawa ko is hindi ako dun iinom sa pinag-inuman niya, but on the other side. Next, never have I ever nahulog sa saheg yung pagkain tapos sinubo pa rin. I have. Five second rule. Oh my gosh, this is so... <laughs> alam ko na kung bakit mo ito nilagay. Kung... Never have I ever nag-leave sa GC tapos sinabing napindot lang. <laughs> Okay, ha, taas ang kamay kung sinong guilty dyan. Sige na, okay, fine. I'm gonna say, <laughs> I have. Um, di ko alam kung explain pa ba ako dito. Probably because I just, nung time na yun, I just don't want to hear anything from the group chat. So, nag-leave ako, which is not accidentally. And then, nung medyo okay na ako, nung nahimasmasa na ako, and then I chatted someone from that GC to add me again. Tapos sinabi ko lang na napindot ko. Okay, fine, guys. Ito na yung gusto nyong sagot. I'm sorry, I lied to you. <laughs> Never have I ever made up a story about someone or something. Made up a story about something. Something, ha? Huh? I have. But made up a story about someone. Never. Never have I ever deleted something in social media because it did not gain enough likes. It did. Never. Never. Kung magdedelete man ako, especially on Instagram, it is because pampasira lang ng feed. <laughs> Or like, sobrang tagal na nung photo na yon, and I don't want old photos on my feed already. Tapos hindi naman siya delete. Usually, I uh, archive lang. So, never. Because of the likes? No. Never. Never have I ever went to the bathroom. What? Ano ba to? <laughs> never have I ever went to the bathroom in the pool. Ah, okay. Like, umihe. Something like that. Oh my gosh. Sino kung hindi gagawa niyan? Lodi ko kayo kung hindi nyo nagawang umihi sa pool. <laughs> Never have I ever hooked up with a co-ed schoolmate or workmate. Never have I ever cheated in online classes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, okay, sige, sige. Never have I ever cheated in online classes. So, hindi naman sinabi dito, never have I ever cheated in online assessments. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kung never have I ever cheated in online class, like, in online classes, in a way like, ano ba, yung scenario ba is like, nagtatanong si professor, and then, you kind of don't know the answer, so you immediately went to the Google and search about it. I have. Or like, titingnan mo yung modules mo, like ganun, parang during classes, and then you're looking to the modules, like parang graded recitation. Oh my gosh, I have. I'm so sorry to the professors. Pero for sure, hindi lang ako. I mean, that's kinda a con in online classes right now. Like, you cannot really monitor the student. Pero of course, nasa sa student na din yan, di ba? Kung mag-cheat din sila. 
in online classes. Pero in the scenario, I'm just gonna clear it up. <laughs> in a scenario na nagtanong si professor and then you don't know, I don't know the answer, I immediately go to Google or really research in the module. So kung cheating yon, yung ganong way na yon, so probably this. Never have I ever wanted to kiss someone of the same sex. Never. Never have I ever umuwi ng lasing. <laughs> Never! <laughs> Never have I ever used someone or did something to make my ex jealous. Never then. I think, no. Ah, uh, hindi ko naman pinagselos yung ex ko. Kasi meron na siyang piniling iba, so hindi na yung magsiselos. Never have I ever con convinced a friend to dump someone. Yung dump, like never uh, convince uh, the person to dump someone. I think I have. Meron, I think. Probably kasi sa part ko lang na parang, I don't like this person for my friend. So I'm telling him these things, or her, I'm telling her these things. Na ito yung parang, I think like it's a red flag for you. So I think wag mo na lang siyang, you know, i-entertain. So yeah, I have. But of course, uh, I still respect the decision of my friend kung ano man yung decision niya, kung papagpatuloy niya pa din or not. Sobrang dami guys, meron pa dito mga interesting question. Never have I ever dated or went on a date with someone because of a dare. Wala. At saka wala pa naman nagde-dare sa akin na i-date ko yung specific person na to. Never have I ever got a tattoo? Wala po. Wala po kong tattoo. And I think hindi rin ako magpapatato. In my, you know, sa akin lang. But, okay lang naman. I have friends that may tattoo. Pero ako, I think hindi ako magpapatato. Never have I ever overspent on clothes? Shocks. Overspent. Probably I have. Yeah. <laughs> Never have I ever been heartbroken. No more explanation. Never have I ever been hangover. Hangover never. Hindi nga ako umuwi ng lasing eh. Hangover pa kaya. Never have I ever binge an entire series in one day. Never. Series ba yon Yung Love Alarm na, eh, na season 1 ah. Season 1 ng Love Alarm. Akala ko kasi, hindi ko na kasi chinek. Like, bigla ko na kagad inopen yung yung K-drama na yon And then, hindi ko alam na 8 episodes lang pala siya dun sa season 1. So like, sunod-sunod ako hanggang sa natapos ako sa episode 8. Tapos akala ko, ba bitin kasi yung episode 8 it, yung last part ng season 1. So akala ko may susunod. Tapos biglang nag-close na siya na Okay, so wala pa lang ano, wala pa lang next episode. So next season na pala da, yung mangyayari. So I think yun yung isa ko na na-bench na buong season, yung Love Alarm. Pero 8 episodes lang yun. I think umabot ako ng 3 AM lang. Mag 4 AM na nun. Sunod-sunod. Next, never have I ever pulled an all-nighter? Of course I have. My gosh. Last year was all-nighter every day. All nighter. All right, so that's it with my never have I ever video. I hope na kind of like enjoy kayo to get to know more about me. No, with this never have I ever video, uh, marami kong revelation na, na share and even kind of inamin to this video. But I hope uh, you guys enjoy this video. And if you want another never have I ever, probably let's have kind of an edition. No. Kasi ito, very mixed na never have I ever in my school, my personal things, my love life, my relationship. So, let's have like a specific never have I ever soon. But for now, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope uh, you like and you share and of course you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Alam ko super late, I mean matagal-tagal na din ako hindi nakakapag-upload because of a lot of things that, you know, um, priority in life. Uh, I have a video, actually, nag-vlog ako. I tried to vlog nung pande ay, pandemic. Yeah, nung quarantine last year, 2020. But, 
wala, hindi ko na rin siya na-edit. So, hopefully, um, nag-vlog ako, I think, recently. So, I hope I can share that to you para makita nyo din kung ano ba yung mga ginagawa ko right now. That's why I'm kinda not super active in YouTube. But, thank you so much again for supporting and of course, watching this video. And I will see you guys soon.